In this video of Express, we are going to have a look in the templates. Basically, these templates are served by a template engine in Express, which ensures that some static template file is being served whenever a client request is being made. We have a number of templating engines here like Pug, Mustache and EJS but in this video we will have a look in the Pug. In the previous releases of uh, Pug we used to call it Jade which is one of the very popular templating engine in Express and to install that in our applications we will have to go for the npm command like npm install Pug. So let's see it practically how can we start working with this Pug in Express applications. So now before getting started with the implementation of Pug in Express, let's see how you can write a page using Pug. So it is a very similar to the HTML, like here you can see the HTML head, title, body, h1, br, anchor tag, div, all the tags as same as that of the HTML, but just a difference in the way you are putting it. As you can see, there is no tag such things are here neither the opening tag nor the closing tag all the nesting here will be done by the indentation so make sure be very particular about your indentation like inside the HTML you want to put the head so here what I did I just passed one tab here alright so if you are using a tab here make sure that for the other tag also you are putting this tab space only alright for example, if I'll put the spaces like one, two, three space, so I'll have to make sure for the next tag also, I'm putting the indentation in a very same way. So because all the nesting thing, all the structure of HTML document will be uh, taken care by, will be designed by the indentation only. So as here inside the HTML, I have put two, uh, two tags like HTML, sorry, head and body as normally we do. And inside the head we have a title, body, inside we have a comment. In the pug you can put these uh, double slashes for putting the comment. H1, right after H1 I put some text. So this part will be of H1 uh, and which it will come under H1 tag. Now a BR to break a line. A, that is the anchor tag. Hyper reference, that is the, th this is how you will pass the attribute. So href is equal to URL. We will pass some value in this URL in this name as you can see right here in the title as well and here as well. So but we will do it later when we will bind this pug page with the express application. So here uh, the anchor tag a couple of brs make sure that you are putting the multiple tags in the different line only as if I want to put two brs I can't put them in the same line as the indentation things. Now again here what you can see is like if you want to put a small text for any particular tag for example here you have already seen the h1 anchor I just want to put a smaller text so I can give it in line as well like this but if you want to put multiple lines text for a particular tag as here you see that in this div I want to put a multi-line text so what can I do? I can put a pipe symbol in the beginning of any line. So it will all be considered inside this div, inside this div only. But if it is really a very big text, even putting the pipe symbol in every line will not be an easy thing. So in that particular case, what you can do, you can just put a dot symbol right after the name of the tag so that everything you will put after that will be considered inside this tag only all right so by the time this particular page would be rendered on the browser it will be converted as an html which i will show you later but now to operate this particular type of page in express first of all we will have to install the pug that is by using the command npm install pug double hyphen save right there in the command prompt as we used to install the any other module but since I have already installed it I'm not going to perform this step alright now let's come to the app.js and see what I have done out there so here like any express application first of all I started with this including the express module into your program express object 
Now here I set a couple of things using app.set method. First like I am telling that now I am not going to work with HTML or any other view engine right here. I am going to work with the pug. So view engine name is pug which I have set here. Second thing is all the views which I am getting I will be creating a directory named views and inside that I will save the pages. So even this particular index.pug page is saved inside the views folder. This views folder with this views directory is on the same location where you have saved this app.js file. Now as soon as you will make a get request for the home page what we are doing here is I am creating a callback function which is actually rendering a page. Which page? Index. Index.pug. Since we have already set the folder name here so I don't need to pass it right now, right now at this particular point because it will search for this index from this in views directory only. And the reason I have not added dot .pug because the view engine already said that it is a pug file. And now inside this I have added a couple of things like name and URL. You can do some more things but I have only done these two. Why? Because name and URL are the two things which were required from the express page. So in the name I have added tutorials point and in the URL www.tutorialspoint.com and after that I started this I assigned the port number 3000 to this server. Now let's start this server by coming to command prompt. So let's say node app.js server got started and now by the time I'll come to the browser to make the request like this you will be able to see this particular output. Alright so greetings from this is the name then URL is the text alright which I have my mentioned right here. Alright and it, is, it would be taking the reference of URL which we have passed that is nothing but this website URL alright. So as soon as I will click here I will be reaching to tutorialspoint.com and three div tags the single line div the div tag with the pipe symbols and the dot alright. So this is how you can see it now if I will if I want to see the source code of this you can see it is a very similar to the HTML as we used to do earlier. HTML head title everything is in the tag form alright. So this is how you can start working with the pug module in your express app for the templating.